Don't ask me why I shot it. I'm not, I, I don't have an answer. I just, I, apparently I just chose violence. Hello everybody and welcome back to some Power World. And today we're doing uh, some tidying up of things. So the first thing that we do I'll have to do up is I definitely need to change up these gates because they they keep catching fire, especially with me using our new <laughs> Blaze Howl bot. So we're gonna have to hunt down a bunch of uh, water pals, get some pal fluid that way, and everything. Um, but I've been really busy. Uh oh, okay. I thought I was gonna light something on fire again. Uh, working on stuff. The first thing is we have succeeded in making the strongest teapot ever. We condensed <laughs> 116 teapots into one glorious teapot, and he's got level two watering. Look at him doing his happy little dance. Now, Milk Toast is the guardian of this area. He protects it from raids. I don't quite know where Milk Toast is at the moment. There's Milk Toast! Our first pal. You will always be beautiful, buddy. We must pet you. Pet Milk Toast. Look at his face. He's so happy. But the second thing that we've managed to work on is getting the team together. So let me show you all of our friends here. So we've got our Blaze Howl Noctir Teostra. Uh, for some reason, every time I say his name, the music from Monster Hunter starts playing. It's very weird. I don't know why that is. But let me hop into the PAL screens for these two, because it'll probably be easier to show off stats there. So let's start with Teostra. We got Vanguard, which boosts our damage while we're using, because Teostra is our main mount, which is fantastic. Furious, plus 20 attack. Lucky, which I finally looked up reading lines to have so many lucky pals and i was able to pass lucky down to everyone else in the party with the exception of our relaxasaur because they were bred out first which is fine but it gives them bonus to work speed and 15 to attack speed and then flame emperor i know i was talking about that in the last video with the blizzmal huts so very happy very strong like i've hit ice pals with fireball for up to 4,000 damage uh, it's, it's really good. 920 attack. We need a few more Blaze Howl Nox to condense down, but we've got almost all of the souls in that we care about. So, next up is... We'll actually save him for last. But, you know, you guys are familiar with Gudra, our Relaxasaur. I decided to go through and name everybody. I believe he is maxed out... She is maxed out on stuff at this point. So, 1,021 <laughs> attack. <laughs> I, I love I love this relaxer. It hits like a fucking freight train. It's fantastic. The defense isn't that bad either, too, at 530. Um, definitely are probably our light, weakest one. Like, I would probably switch out Blood of the Dragon for Lucky if I could. But Musclehead, Burly Body, Furious, it's all good. Honestly, we have so much attack right now, it doesn't matter, you know. Then we finally got around to breeding out the Mammoth... Mamorous that we talked about and I decided to go for the ice one since it is just pure ice I had been initially planning on doing brawn cherries But the ice just kind of works better seeing as one of the legendaries is a dragon type This will be a good counter for that. Uh, so we're going with Gameth uh, if People know Gameth is also from Monster Hunter if you couldn't tell I like Monster Hunter <laughs> But Gameth actually is pretty shit <laughs> Gonna be honest We've put a bunch of souls into her and oh, I didn't even realize it actually is a her. That's funny because in canon, Gameth is a female. But 734 attack, it's only supposed to be 544 and 543 defense, and we have 615. Excuse me, 651. It, I, I'm not impressed. You know, uh, lucky, burly body, furious, cold blooded to boost that ice damage. But, you know, like, we take, like, Gameth stats and we compare it to, like, base ones for Gudra. You know, 681 attack. You know, it's, like, that's a huge gap. It's only two-level difference, too. I can't even, like, use that as a bridge anymore. Because, like, I try to use that as, like, oh, don't worry, they'll get stronger. Don't worry. Uh, Jormungandr here can even outflex her, too. Like, and Jormungandr is only level 30. Uh, but our Jormuntide... Uh, I'm very excited about this one. This is one I've been working on a lot in the background, which we need to change that skill back to Bubble Blast. Lucky, Brave. Brave could have been a better skill, actually, looking at it. I didn't realize it was only 10%, but, I mean, like, we have 793 attack at level 30. Uh, also, hits like a freight train. It's fantastic. 
I'll take the reduced defense. I think I still am upping its defense. But really good overall. I've used them a few times. Very powerful. Uh, definitely lives up to the hype that I was hoping for for Ari Armentide. And then, of course, our very last pal, our newest one, Charlemagne the Griffin. All Griffins we have must be named Charlemagne. It's just, it started with Ark. It will forever be that, even though I don't think Shadowbeak really fits that too well. Unfortunately, we have to be, like, level 47 to get the saddle for Shadowbeak. But, like, look at this attack stat. This is wild. 771 at level 27. It's... Look, it, it's ridiculous. And I don't have a lot of souls in her either. Like, I have attack almost maxed, but that's it right now. Like, it's a pro It's something that we're actually going to be working on today is we need to go out and hunt down pal souls. There's a lot of, like, spelunking that we need to do. Now, I know caving isn't the best answer for pal souls. I can actually show you on the map here. From what I've seen, one of the best things to do is circle this area here for small souls run the desert up here for medium souls. And from what I've found, large souls just flying around the Arctic, you know, and just chest hunting and stuff. So we're going to just go on a couple different adventures today, doing some dungeons, doing some looting, catching some random pals too, because we also need to catch a bunch of other pals to work on our pal farm back there, because we can up the base skills of them for like laying eggs and milk and stuff by condensing them with other pals. So we can... Well, hold on. So that's probably something that we should be working on doing. I uh, see. So I also need to make more cement too. Fantastic. We're we we need a lot of power fluid too. So really, what I probably should do is go get an ore zerk as well. There's a lot of like random things that we still have to work on. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to bring you start off by showing you guys the team, seeing so you guys can see all the work that we've put in. And yeah, let's get started on the fun like dungeon diving cave grinding stuff okay so i figured the arctic would be a good spot to start you guys haven't gotten to really see this area for one and for two like i was saying this is a good spot for both large palsels and good dungeons are you guys pissed you don't want this smoke like are you you don't you don't want this <laughs> It also is a nice way to, like, actually get to show off and use our new pals. The funniest thing is I actually wonder if uh, Charlemagne could handle some of these guys. They have such high attack as it is. Uh, I definitely... Oh, that was the other thing I actually completely forgot. We need also to get some Memorous Crist so we can put them into Gameth. Because she only has three stacks in, I believe. Okay, cool. We did not kill. I was afraid that we were going to kill. <laughs> well, you're on fire, so definitely should probably try and catch you instead of talk. <laughs> but yeah, so we need a couple more Gameths. Well, not Gameths. Uh, Mamorous Chris to catch to finish upgrading Mamorous. So hopefully they can become better. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's like... Uh, what is it? What was the game? It was Monster Hunter Stories 2, where there were some some uh, monsters, monsties, I think it's what if they were called in that game. It's been a good bit since I've played that game. That scaled different. Like, they would end up being really good at a high level. It was just like, you had to get them to that level. And then they would start scaling. Gameth, ironically, Gameth was one of them. I remember a Gameth I was trying to level up until, like, 40 was hot garbage. And then it hit 40 and became an absolute animal. So we can hope that that's what's going to happen here. Because Mamorist is, like, one of the poster children of this game up there with Relaxasaur. Uh, we'll have to see. Dude, just stay stay in the ball. Don't make me shoot you. Bad. Bad Mammoth. Take out your kneecaps. That's what I thought. So you just gotta threaten their kneecaps. Threat Violence is always the answer, kids. So, yeah, we're just going to adventure around and see what we can find. I know where there's a couple good chests. I can't remember if I got them last night or if it's been... Because sometimes it takes like a day or two for them all to respawn. I probably should have brought a flyer, too. Oh, why can't we ride Charlemagne? Sad noises. Oh, that were actually... I need you. I forgot. We added one of these fellas to our... Uh... Ow. My armor. 
screwed. Well, well. We missed the ball, and then they died to fire damage. Rip. And I forgot we added one of those guys to our farm, because they produce high-quality cloth just on their own. So, that's been really great. I actually probably have enough high-quality cloth to go through and upgrade all the beds, which I'm thinking I'm going to hold off on, because I want to, like, do some stuff with the, uh, the mining base. Really kind of, like, step up that base. I'm not happy with how it looks. It looks pretty shysty. So, definitely want to, like, improve that a bit. Oh, Teostro's hungry. More like hungry for these nuts. I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm going to be honest. I'm sorry. <laughs> the cat got so much air. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, there's some assholes. I forgot, too. I'm trying to collect a couple of them because I think I do want to eventually have a few of them just on the farm in general. Just because, like, they they gather stuff at such a shit rate, but it's also just, like, you know, we might as well. Like, I definitely am hitting the point where I've got more than enough random shit. Oh, kill him, Teostra. 5,000 damage. It's so... I love... I, I love my Blaze Howl Noct. It's so good. It looks so good. Also, I probably should have named it Lunastra. Seeing as that's probably a bit more fitting to the colors than Teostra. Teostra would have been more like a normal Blaze Howl. <laughs> but I, I died like one too many times in World 2. Loot Nostra special to comfortably do that. Fuck that special. It was really cool. <laughs> Ooh, Pelsol. This is the benefit too of like running around too. Is like we get to pick up Pelsols. Unfortunately, it's a medium soul. I have actually a bunch of medium souls. So it's just like... 4K. But the main thing, honestly, I'm looking for is a dungeon. Which the dungeons are kind of infrequent, it feels like, up in the Arctic. Leave my cat alone. He's almost dead. Jesus. Okay, we'll have to put you away. Uh, unfortunately, the only other pal I have that I can actually, like, ride on is Yarmin Tide. And he's he's kind of sluggish. <laughs> no, fault, no fault of his own. Well, actually, kind of his. He's the one who decided to evolve into be a giant fuck-off snake. But you know what? It's okay. I love him all the same. I actually love him more because of it. Small pal soul. Fantastic. I need those. But the question is, can we take a Mamorous Crist? The answer is no. You know, I thought I killed that one with that second uh, Firestorm on accident. Instead of Flame Arrow. Don't ask me why I shot it. I'm not, I, I don't have an answer. I just... I, apparently, I just chose violence. You know, I had really wanted to do this on foot. But it's it's seeming like we're going to have to uh, pick up a flyer. Oh, he's dead. Oof. Well, I mean, that's high-quality oil, which means Palmer to repair guns. So, I guess I... It, I, I mean, it's not ideal. <laughs> I'll have to take a look at how many we've got... At this point, because I know we were pretty close earlier, and like we've only caught like three, so my expectations are low. But you know what? Maybe we've caught in enough that we can upgrade, especially since we have to head back anyways to switch out our pal. Let's actually just go to this base quick. <clears throat> okay, let's see how much faster this goes with Valaris, since this one I didn't even realize when I was doing all of the breeding. Way back, back in episode 5. God, that feels like forever ago. That the... One of the Phalaruses I bred out has Nimble. So he has extra movement speed. And he's already a pretty quick plier to boot. So this should help us get around pretty quick. E, here's one. Please show me a Pal Soul. Uh, I mean, an Assault Rifle schematic would be good if we didn't have a better one. Where did we even get that schematic now? I don't remember. Like, I remember picking it up from, like, a very bizarre place. That is a big frozen egg. I just can't remember where we got it from. Which we actually might go and do some boss fights in this video, too. I know I want to do the Suzaku in the desert, because that has a chance of dropping the legendary assault rifle schematic. And obviously, I really want that. Hey, this is, like, the one... <laughs> it's, in all honesty, the one dungeon I know about in this area. <laughs> 
<laughs> so let's head on in. Now, I know that uh, caving like this isn't the best option for a lot of this stuff. Did I just get fucking domed with a rocket launcher? Oh, okay. Fuck him up, Kudra. <laughs> Look at him go. My man. <laughs> you're my favorite child. <laughs> Don't tell the others, but you're my favorite. I think they know, though. Also, fun thing I've learned is, like, in a lot of the caves, there's uh, pals that the game is just like, yeah, they don't spawn other places. Like, Lunaris here, it's, like, area unknown. Like, they don't know, like, it doesn't tell you where to find them. But apparently, as you can see, they spawn in the Arctic caves. I found the same thing with, like, the volcano with Monsanto Lux, which I thought was just a boss. And Felbat, actually, within the hill area. I can't think of what it's called. The plains. You know what? I'm just going to pull it up on the map. This area. Not this area. Down by where this Eliza Bee is. This area. Dungeons in here. You can find fell bats. Which I thought was interesting. And I wish I had known that earlier. Because I would have gone and farmed some of those when I was doing the Blaze Howl Nox. Uh, anything interesting here? You know what? Let's use one of our new, friend, new tools. We got a shotgun. I don't remember. I think I picked it up from a Arctic chest, actually. Oof. Well, there goes that fella. But yeah, I think I picked this up from an Arctic chest. It's like a tier 2 shotgun. It's really nice. Been really helpful. Chest. Um, I mean, that's pretty decent. We're actually... I actually picked up... I, again, I can't 100% remember because I've been hitting so many chests. I probably got it from up in the Arctic, too. I got a Pal Armor metal chest. Which is, like, the top-tier chest. So, I'm very excited for whenever we can actually make pal, pal metal. I have, like, eight bars from catching Shadow Beaks. Which, we're gonna have to go and catch some more Shadow Beaks, too, to upgrade ours. Ours only has, like, two batches of them put in. I think I need... How many dice? I remember counting it. No, it's the Army Tide, so I counted. I'm gonna say, because I remember counting one of them and being like, I need 20 more. I'm pretty sure it was Yorman Tides. I bred 96 Yorman Tides. <laughs> Well, I bred... I guess saying I bred 96 is wrong, because I bred 94. But still. Still a lot. Why is it just these fucking idiots? God damn it. The Arctic Caves are, like, really big. Which is super nice. They see, still seem to have about the same amount of loot. Maybe a little more. But it's kind of cool. Oh my god, I'm so tired of the PAL genetic researcher unit. <laughs> Get fucking domed. <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Gudra just running around flopping his arm. Hey, large pal soul. <laughs> Gudra just running around like that, though. It, it brings me so much joy. He's just so derpy. He's my favorite. He's my hero. You know, I'm trying to look at the upside of all of these stupid fucking genetic pal executioners or whatever. Because it's like we're getting gold and we're getting silver keys. Just going to be useful for the amount of chests that we got to open. But at the same time, it's just like, please. Ruler of the Cobalt Dusk. I mean, like, I do kind of want that. I have a couple Suzaku Aquas. But one... I, I want to show this off at the same time, though. One thing I've learned is, like... We're going to look around the rest of this dungeon. Because we're here more for the loot than the boss. And the boss loot. But one of the things I found out is... That's going to change. When we come back to him later, it's going to be a different boss. Okay, so we want the metal gateway. Got it. Now, an interesting thing I've heard is... These guys are supposed to be a good source for pal souls, too. We just have to catch them before uh, they face the wrath of uh, Gudra. Or me, apparently. Now, I don't know if it's just, like, breeding them or what, but I've seen, like... Because I was looking at different suggestions for ways to farm pal souls, and people were just like, oh, breed those guys. And, uh... I can't <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> this one's st still got his eyes. Gudra didn't take those from him yet. But uh, I remember reading that those guys are supposed to be good to butcher for our souls. Them and uh, Nox are supposed to be good, like, ones to butcher. Okay, so we want... 
this way. There's no way it wasn't, like, this is it, right? Like, there has to be, like, a little more. Yeah, wait. Wait, this is, oh, I guess we took a wrong turn. Okay, yeah, here we go. We haven't been this way. <laughs> My amazing sense of directions coming in handy, as always. Palsol? No Palsol. Sad. This is what I mean, though, when I say dungeons aren't always worth it. Because, like, it's taken us a good bit to work our way through this dungeon, collect all the loot. And it's like, we probably could have hit up a couple more chests and just picked up the palisoles that we need from it. But this is, I enjoy this. This is pretty fun. Let's go fight that boss, though, whatever it's turned into. It does suck that we had a patch up on uh, Alpha Suzuku Aqua. All right, let's see what we got now. Oh, it's an ice pal. I have just the friend for you. The pallid lady. Oh, is she just by herself? So is there anything down there? I always wondered what these were for. Probably just like get out of if you like fall. How much is this going to do to you? Ow. I mean, that's quite a bit of damage. Best part is we can hop off uh, Teostra and he'll just like fire off all of his skills again. Where's that fireball, buddy? Okay, that works. Ow. Can't run now. Hey. You're gonna work my ranch. Just gonna throw a giant fucking moth bat. I don't know what that thing is, in all honesty. We're just gonna throw a giant one of them. So I can run around with a chickpea. Um, diamond. Uh, we're full. Attack pendant plus two. Ooh. Uh, what are we? Oh, okay. Yeah, we actually are kind of full. Um, this can go away. Nice. That's a pretty good pendant. Probably better off than the that one I've got on. Like, I don't think boosting my attack is going to do, like, a ton. Yeah, it's only plus 25%, but that's still... Actually, is it 25%? Or is it... It's only 15%. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, it's still... Any boost is a boost, right? All right. But I think I'm going to get back to work searching around. And I think I'm just going to bring you guys back for when we switch up locations at this point. Or if we go do another boss, because I know where there's a King Paka boss. Like, it's like King Paka uh, Christ, whatever the ice version is. And I know he's got a chest down there. And it's a pretty good chest, too. Oh, chest over there. So, yeah, guys. I'm just going to go be a loot goblin, and I'll just catch you in a bit. God damn these people! All right, guys. Early in the morning. It's done business. Also, fuck you. You're looking at me funny. <laughs> I need those. We're gonna like pump up why one of my lucky guys, the giant fucking chickpeas, and they're gonna just be an animal. This is actually one thing I did want to talk about a little bit here too while we're farming, is uh, one of the things I should be doing if I want to be like truly efficient, is I should be running around with Orzerk while I'm catching not even just an Orzerk, but like a fully pal condensed Orzerk. Because he has an ability that boosts the chance of water pals dropping things. So it would make my life a lot easier for farming out, like, pal fluid. Because instead of, like, say, catching a pal and getting one pal fluid, it would be a much higher chance of catching a pal and getting, like, two or three pal fluid. Which would just, you know, that's so much better than what we're currently having to deal with. Also, for people who might not know... And that's right, I don't know if you don't know why you're on one of these one of my videos. How did you manage to find your way here? Uh, <laughs> I'm impressed. But Kremis actually is one of the best wool producers. It's better than Lambell. Uh, by quite a bit. Lambell only produces between one and one wool. And Kremis produces between one and five. And I think once it's upgraded, it becomes like a more consistent five. If I'm remembering what I saw right from, like, the video I watched. So I just figured I'd bring that up for people who are curious about that stuff. Which means Lord Floof is uh, also chilling out with Milk Toast. 
all of, well, I can't say all of our old friends because I'm not 100% sure what happened to Nova. <laughs> Most of our old pals are ugh, still kicking. They're still being useful for things. You know, I just keep getting bread and gold, bread and gold. And it's not even from like just these chests. It's just like, even up in the Arctic, that's what we were getting. <laughs> Like, I think we got, like, one pal soul, one large pal soul while we're up in the Arctic. Ah, I see we're, we're hitting an impasse. Well, okay, I guess we're just not catching more pals. Wait. Hold up. Hello. Would you like to buy some useless pals? I mean, I say useless, but, like, whatever are we going to use these fucks for? And the pangolets. Oh. Do I even want to keep that lucky one? Like, cause I, it's more like, it's not so much like, do I want the lucky one? Oh, I don't need all these cell rays. Why do I, oh, that's right. Cause they usually give two, but I'm just like, I think I have a second lucky pig. <laughs> Speaking of lucky, that actually reminds me. Where is he? Oh, I don't know where he is. I have a lucky relaxasaur that I caught. <laughs> I don't know where he went. There he is. <laughs> Because, you know, why not, I guess. Bro, I swear if this is bread. Well, it's not bread, at least. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I could feed, like, a whole family with the amount of bread I've got right now. Not even a whole family. Maybe even a whole village. We have so much bread. Oh, one pal soul. Let's go. It's something. We got one. <laughs> Only, like, 12 more to go. Oh! Oh, my God. Does Milktoast have a girlfriend now? Or a boyfriend? Also, I can't... God damn it. <laughs> I had someone tune into a stream once and just be like, why do you find so many lucky pals? And I still, to this day, I don't know. I don't know what kind of witchcraft I am unintentionally doing <laughs> to find all these lucky pals. Hey, only 11 more small pals falls to go... <laughs> I really wish we were getting some from, like... Huh. Ah, I see now. Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't I don't know what's happening there. I wish we would get some from, like, just kind of catching pals. Like, I know Nox can drop some. I actually caught a Nox and got, like, two souls. And I'm probably going to... Maybe make a butcher knife and butcher it? question mark i'm not 100 percent sure on that one that feels unethical like anything you know i say that like anything else i've done in this so far in this game has been ethical but it's a definite possibility oh this is a boss one right yeah let's fight him uh will you die from this Fuck, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, Teostra. Please don't kill him, buddy. Look, at, I can see the murder. Look at his eyes. There's murder there. Hey, there we go. Oh, our inventory's full again. Will we drop tomato seeds? Do we need tomato seeds? I feel like the answer is no. I should have, like, actually gone home and dropped stuff off. I don't know why I didn't do that. Oh. Oh, this is where the Yormantide boss is. The other one. Because I think I remember mentioning that there were two Yormantide bosses in the video. The other one, I believe, is on the other side of this rib cage. Do we have Gameth? No, we don't. Let's say if we had Gameth, I'd try and fight it, because I think she's super effective against I know she's good against dragons, but sometimes my brain gets kind of is still a little Pokemon pilled. So it's just like Wait, why is it pink as defeat? I'd never fought this one. What do you mean defeated? What? I guess it's because I already fought him and beat him? It's, that's still really bizarre. Uh, my, I completely lost track of what I was saying <laughs> because of that. 
Oh, I remember what it was. I was saying how I'm still kind of like used to Pokemon where it's just like, oh, because it's dual type, it's certain things are not effective, but that doesn't seem to be how this game works. It's just like, if your type is weak to it, you're just weak to it. Which is simpler, by far. But it's it leads to some odd situations, I feel like. Oh, two pal souls. Whew. Must be my lucky day. You know, it's definitely an interesting experience here because there's a lot of things I'm like picking up from the. I heard guns. From the random chest that I'm like. Oh, that would have been so much more helpful, like, early game. And with how low the levels are, it definitely could have, like, come out here early game. Granted, where we started, probably not so much because we were so much further away from here. <laughs> but definitely gives me, like,. Thing, I'm kind of like, okay, I'll have to remember this for whenever we, uh, if we ever end up doing another, well, I guess it's when, <laughs> when we do another PAL world, like, save. Oh, there's the Mossan, the head of the storm. Why don't you inherit these nuts in your mouth? I don't, I don't know. Just kick his ass, Gudra. Oh, is your fucking nose your head sp Oh, God! <laughs> his nose is his weak point. Oh, he just got fucking... He just punched Gudra with fucking Thunder Punch. Hello. You know what? We'll emote. Fucking break it down over that one. The fuck is wrong with me? Why did he drop mushrooms? I have many questions. <laughs> but I think, guys, I'm just going to keep adventuring by myself at this point. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to bring you back at base. All right, guys, so we are back at our base, and we actually almost got all of the small souls that we need. Let me show you here really quick. So we just need, I think, six more. And we can finish up Charlemagne here. Yeah, because we've got one, so it's just six more. Which is good. Obviously, large souls, we still have a lot of work to do. Like, Teostra still needs a bunch. Uh, Yormantide still needs a bunch. Gudra still needs a few. And we haven't even looked at Gameth. <laughs> Gameth also needs a few as well. But I forgot to bring you guys back here for a pal condensing, because I don't think I've actually shown it off yet. And yeah, so it's uh, some fun stuff. So, let me find the right ones. Also, we got this super cremice from a dungeon, so we're going to use this cremice as our main cremice. Alright, pals to extract. Begin condensation. Pals used to, used as essence will vanish. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes. Condensation complete. The pals become stronger thanks to the noble sacrifice of its companions. I love that. I just love that phrase. It's so stupid. But one of the really nice things that I've noticed with this, it's only like a fairly recently I've noticed this kind of thing, is if you click a pal, it tells you how many of those pals that you have in storage besides itself. So if we were to click a chickpea, we can see down here we have 49 in, in the inventory. So that's really good to know for upgrading some of our pals, like this one here, which I don't think we can actually... How much is it? 49? We actually probably can upgrade it twice. Which is really good, in all honesty. Like, obviously our end goal is to probably get these guys all maxed out. And I'll probably just pick them up while I'm searching for souls. Just because, you know, we might as well. But I'm definitely going to have to make some more. <laughs> yeah, we definitely we have just enough. Fantastic. But I'm definitely going to have to make some more Pal Spheres for this adventure. Uh, let's get this one all condensed up, and then we'll head back over to the ranch part itself and deposit everybody out and about. So that actually reminds me of something that I should probably mention, is that with the pallet condensation, uh, a lot of times you benefit the most from just the one. It's a immediate, like, 50% bonus, and then it's... You get up to... Oh, what is the bonus? It's... Essentially, the first boost with the four pals in is about the same as the other three boosts with the other 112 pals in. 
So, also, it's Milk Toast's boyfriend. Ooh, look at Milk Toast. He loves his boyfriend. But yeah, I just figured that was also worth mentioning for people who are curious about that kind of thing. And they're. Oh. Oh boy, we got another raid. Look at the Super Kremis. We have to name him. He is Lord Floof 2, Electric Boogaloo. But let's go deal with these guys first, because that's definitely the most important thing. Uh. Ugh. Just. Perish. <gasps> he, <laughs> he killed himself on me. Oh, we killed a Kativa too. Oh no. <laughs> well, all right, guys. I think that's going to wrap up this video for today, though. Like, we did quite a bit of pal searching and, well, pal soul searching, I guess is the best way to put it. That's what I'll put the title on. It's, it's so stupid. Uh, but our farm here is coming along really nice, too, as you can see with all the boosts that we've added in. Just, this was just like a day of not coming over here, too. Like, 444 high quality cloth from just one of these guys, I think, too. So much stuff. This would lag the shit out of a server. I'm glad I played by myself. <laughs> but yeah, we got a lot of good pal souls. Uh, that farming route I looked up does look quite good. Does work quite good. Definitely if I had a faster player like uh, the legendary Jet Dragon, it probably would be even better. But that's still a bit of ways away. I want to get like the legendary sphere at least before we even start trying to go for the legendaries because I feel like the odds are just so low. So yeah, everybody, I hope you all did enjoy this episode. Oh, geez, that lag spike. And I hope to catch you all in the next one. And until then, peace.